Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Today I'm in Premiere Elements 2022 and I want to show you the new guided edit for adjusting shadows and highlights in your in your videos. Um, this has been a feature of editing still images in programs like Lightroom and Photoshop Camera Raw. So these are familiar tools to many photographers and Adobe has introduced this guided edit um, of a standard editing technique which has been available in, pre in Premiere Elements but this new guided edit gives a step-by-step -step work through for those who are new to video editing. Um, so before jumping into the guided edit um, I'm going to clear the timeline. If like, if like me you may have already opened a video um, from the organizer you'll find that with most of the guided edits you need to start with an empty timeline. So with it highlighted I'm going to press the delete key and get rid of it. Um, there's no need to worry it'll still be available under the project assets tab. So let's go to guided edit now and under the basic tab we have this guided edit for adjusting shadows and highlights. So clicking on that we can see that the first step is to click the next arrow to get started. So let's click that once and we're now prompted to bring in our clip and as we know we already have it under project assets so we can click on that and it's now telling us to drag it to video one. So let's just grab, drag that back down to the timeline because we had previously deleted it. So the next step it's highlighting on the right hand side here the effects tab, the, um, the the effects tab, so clicking on that we're prompted with this green outline to drag the shadow and highlights edit onto the highlighted video. So just simply dragging and dropping. And then we get this applied effects panel opening up on the right. And we can see that the default is already set to auto and most of the time this works quite well if we drag the playhead along you can see the kind of effects that we've um, that we've got. Um, the, the guy walking towards the fountain is still in a little bit of shadow um, so you may want to adjust it manually. Um, we have this new eyeball um, effect also so let's just click and go to the next step and we can see that we can make manual adjustments if we're not happy with auto so I've actually unchecked auto and um, we can we can start to play with the um, the sliders. Um, be a bit careful with these because they can introduce um, halos if you're not careful. Um, I can see that the guy by the fountain is looking a little bit clearer because he's been brightened. If we adjust the highlight slider we, slider, we start to darken the um, the sky and under more options we also have um, lots of other sliders to play with. I often find that adding a little bit of mid-tone contrast um, does quite a good job. You can see that the um, buildings behind look a little bit um, crisper and just adjusting the, 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 the white clip to brighten overall and the black clip adds further contrast. That's really too much. I don't think this particular video needs any black clip. But there's, those are the overall um, controls. This new eyeball introduced to the shadow and highlights lets you toggle on the overall effects on and off. So clicking, um, actually I need to move to the next step before I can do anything. So it's actually telling me now to toggle the eyeball. This is a, this is a new feature introduced in Premiere Elements 2022. So if we click it off, you can see the before, clicking again, you can see the and after effect um, with the highlights and shadow adjustments. So let's click this to finish and click again and we can play the video and there we have it. And I think that's much clearer and the highlights in the sky are better and the shadows are better. So let's pause that and we can export and um, and save. I'm going to skip that step for the purpose of this video. What I want to say is that um, you can do this entirely in expert mode once you become familiar with the editing steps. You know, if you feel that you don't know, don't need 
the guided edit, work through simply opening your clip in expert mode and go straight to the FX tab and there you can see the shadows and highlights and simply dragging it to the video clip will give you all the tools and sliders for adjusting shadows and highlights. So I hope you find this helpful in Premiere Elements 2022. Thanks for watching and bye for now.